Hi, I'm Klaus Dovgaard from DHI, and this is a quick start guide to using Mic Software on Azure Marketplace. Now, before we get started, I'd like to point out that uh, we currently have three applications in Azure Marketplace. We have Mic Zero, we have Microroom Plus, and we have Feeflow. And these applications are available in a bring your own license model. So you will need to have an internet license at the ready to um, get started. Now, as you can see, I have navigated to uh, Azure Marketplace and I'll start by searching for uh, Mic Zero. Now I'm going to take you through the process uh, quickly, but um, at the bottom of each of these pages, there is a PDF guide that will go into more detail. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, get started. Um, as you can see, Mic Zero is present in a couple of different variations. So uh, let's choose uh, 2020. Now behind the scenes here, I'm being logged in with my um, Azure account, um, which is fairly easy to create. Um, now first I need to choose which uh, subscription this gets uh, built to and I need to create a resource group so we can keep track of the costs. Um, there we go. Now once I've done that, I need to give my virtual machine a name. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. And I need to choose which region I would like to have my VM running in. Now, I'm in Northern Europe, so that's kind of fine. But uh, be aware that your selection of hardware profiles is going to change depending on which, um, uh, which region you are in. Speaking of hardware profiles, um, at this point, you will be asked to choose the size of your VM. Now, for most uh, simple calibration or, or small model runs, uh, the D8v3 is probably going to do uh, just fine. Um, if you're doing like full flexible mesh simulation, like production runs, then you should probably choose something with uh, more CPU cores. Um, now, your performance is going to scale fairly linearly with uh, the amount of CPU cores you have. Um, uh, when it comes to GPU, that kind of depends on the type of modeling you're doing, but uh, we have a nice overview of uh, benchmarks for uh, GPU simulation uh, that you will find a link to in the description for this video. Now, I know this list might look daunting, but uh, I recommend just getting started with something uh, probably without GPUs and just uh, see how it goes. Now, you will need to choose a uh, username and password for the administrator account. Um, you will be asked to provide these uh, credentials when you log in for the first time. Now, being the administrator of your uh, VM, of course, gives you the option to install any and all supporting software that you would need for your uh, specific workflow. Now, the next thing we need to look at is um, the storage. Now, running on a standard SSD is sort of fine. Um, one thing you will want to look at is whether or not you want to create a data disk. Now, data disks are useful if you want to keep your data in the cloud, but you don't want to have the cost of running your VM, let's say, over a weekend if you're not doing simulation. Uh, so we definitely recommend uh, creating one of those. You do that by clicking Create and Attach a New Disk. Obviously, if you already have a data disk uh, that you want to use, you can attach it using the Attach an Existing Disk link. But for now, let's uh, create a new one. Now, it defaults to a terabyte, so let's... Uh, Let's just do that. And uh, the rest of these settings kind of just uh, work. So uh, without further ado, let's um, go straight to review and create. Now, uh, Azure will run a validation on all your settings and it will tell you what you've done wrong, if anything. Um, there we go. So let's hit create. Now it usually takes about five to 10 minutes for a VM to spin up. So I'll see you back here when we're ready to continue. All right, our deployment is complete. Now um, to access my uh, virtual machine, I will click go to resource and I will click connect. Now, usually I'll wanna connect through RDP uh, because that basically gives me a, a screen share. Um, so if I'm on Windows, I just click uh, download RDP file and I will be able to click on that. Click connect. 
and at this point I will need to use my um, the username and password I uh, supplied for my um, admin account and finally hit yes and we are connecting now the first time the machine spins up um, there are a lot of um, settings that need to get uh, set uh, but basically, you are um, ready on a VM that has, um, at this point, um, in this example, a Mic Zero pre-installed. Now, you'll need to configure your uh, license as you would normally. Now, if you're doing any uh, large-scale simulation, like over a couple of days, uh, you will probably want to disable uh, automatic updates and restarts at this point. Uh, I won't go into how that's done, but there is a nice guide in the uh, aforementioned PDF. Now you do that at your own risk, but it is a hassle if your uh, VM restarts in the middle of a simulation run. And of course, don't forget to pause or stop your VM uh, if it's uh, if you're idling. All right, so let's just uh, clear all of this away. And as you can see, we have a pre-installed Mic Zero 2020. So we can go into the uh, license manager and input our internet license. Now, if you have any issues with your VM, uh, consider contacting Microsoft support. And of course, if you have any questions that relate to the uh, DHI software specifically, you're welcome to contact our customer success uh, function. And with that, uh, best of luck and uh, stay safe.